Dzień dobry. Ogromnie się cieszę, że mogę znowu być z Państwem, że wracam do gry. Przykro mi bardzo, że nie mogłem uczestniczyć w ostatnich naszych zajęciach, ale niestety wydarzył się pewien dosyć przykry dla mnie wypadek i po prostu no, nie bardzo się nadawałem do pokazywania. Także nie chciałem, że tak powiem, razić Państwa uczuć estetycznych swoim wyglądem, a w maseczce raczej chyba to było dosyć niewygodne i chyba nie potrafiłem, nie potrafiłbym się w tym wszystkim jakoś w miarę swobodnie tutaj poruszać. Mając zresztą takiego doskonałego wspólnika, jakim jest Julia, mogłem Państwa w jej ręce oddać. Zresztą byłem tutaj za kamerą, także <śmiech> mam nadzieję, że <śmiech> wszystko, oczywiście się wszystko się odbywało bez żadnego problemu. Zatem jest mi okropnie, mi ogromnie miło, raz jeszcze mówię, wrócić i to wrócić z tematem, który jest mi szczególnie bliski. Sięgam tutaj do moich zasobów, tych właśnie z dżungli. Mam paru małych takich pomocników, których duch, mam nadzieję, będzie dzisiaj z nami i będzie Państwa prowadził i w trakcie oglądania już samotnie filmu, mam nadzieję, że będzie z Wami. Jednak nikt nawet ptaki nie lubią być same, także to są moi przyjaciele, proszę bardzo. Mam nadzieję, że po prostu Państwo polubicie ich i będą, będziecie pamiętać, oglądając film, misję, że oni są z Państwem. Well, okay. Uh, film The Mission. Uh, it's uh, an historical drama uh, written by, based by <clears throat> original story and based on screenplay uh, done by Robert Bolt and directed by Roland Joffe. And of course, uh, you m must know this very famous music by Ennio Morricone. Well, in a very brief storyline, Jesuit priest Father Gabriel, well, Jeremy Irons, enters the Guarani lands in South America with the purpose of converting the natives to Christianity. He soon built a mission where He is joined by Rodrigo Mendoza, Robert De Niro, a reformed slave trader seeking redemption. When a treaty transfers the land from Spain to Portugal, the Portuguese government wants to capture the natives for slave labor. Mendoza and Gabriel resolve to defend the mission, but disagree on how to accomplish the task. The late Ray McAnally is excellent as a worldly wise Bishop Altamirano, uh, whose decision would ultimately decide the fate of many South American natives for century to come. Well, To better understand the history, the, the film, the mission of this mission, <laughs> of mission film, is to know uh, historical backgrounds. And it's necessary to learn a little bit about Jesuit activities in South America. The objective of reductions were to impart Christianity and European culture as well into the uh, South America. But from the very beginning, as far as you remember, the local people, Indians, were treated very bad. And because of that, in 15, 
12, King of Spain, develop Lace, Lace de Burgos, special law protecting in, Indians against slavery. But unfortunately, after 50 years later, Bartolomé de las Casas, in his book Historia de los Indias, from uh, 15, uh, 1552, says that Indians, Indians are treated in a very unhuman and brutal way. And, well, Spanish and Portuguese empires had adopted a strategy of gathering native population into communities called Indian reductions. Uh, in Spain, there is a special uh, word, uh, reducciones de los indios. Uh, it means uh, it was uh, very uh, very cl closed settlement guided by Jesuits for local, for indigenous people and this res Jesuit reductions uh, we are talking about uh, was established by Jesuit order in the early of 17th century. Uh, reduction were kind of Christian missions that extend successfully in the, an area struggling the borders of present-day Paraguay, uh, Brazil, and Argentina. Well, it calls a triple frontier. Frontera, triple frontera. Uh, among the Guarani, Guarani peoples, the Jesuits attempt to create a state within a state uh, in which the native peoples in the reduction guided by Jesuits would remain autonomous and isolated from Spanish colonists and Spanish rule. A major factor attracting the natives to the reduction was the protection they afforded from enslavement and the forced labor of well, encomiendas. Well, let's see what the encomienda was. Encomienda in Spain's America colonies, it was a legal system by which the Spanish crown attempted to define the status of the indigenous population. Well, the original intent, intent of the encomienda was to reduce the abuses of forced labor employed shortly after Europeans in 15th century discovered on conquest, conquested the new world. Well, in practice, <laughs> it became a kind of form of enslavement. As legally defined in 1503, and encomienda, well, <laughs> it's a, from encomienda, it's a Spanish word, uh, encomendar, it, it, it means to, to entrust, consisted of a ground by the crown to a conquistador, a soldier and official or others, of specified number of Indians living in particular area. The, the receiver, receiver, receiver of the ground, called encomendero, could exact tribute from the Indians in gold, in kind, or in labor, and was required, encomendero was required to protect them and instruct them into the Christian faith. The encomienda did not include a ground of land, but in practice, the encomenderos gained control of land inhabited by Indians and failed to fulfill their obligation to the indigenous population. Well, the encomienda was not officially abolished until the late of uh, 18th century. 
Well, the question is, how does it work? Under the leadership of both the Jesuits and native Catholics, well, well it's local uh, authorities, the reduction achieved a high degree of autonomy with the Spanish colonial empire, with the use of native labor uh, reductions became economical successful. Some of them had more than 4,000 inhabitants. So it was small villages, not small, 400 is sufficient. Uh, comfortable and clean homes, uh, clean water uh, system of irrigation, uh, very developed ag agriculture. There was no hunger and they develop handcraft and surprisingly music. <clears throat> Not local music, but uh, music brought from European. And, well, they produced uh, European uh, uh, instruments like violins, etc. And they play on really, really high level. Well, this wellness provoked many attacks and robbery by organized group of soldiers. When the invasions of Brazilian slave traders threatened the existence of the reductions, Indian militias were set up which fought effectively against the Portuguese colonists. And please note, we are coming to the point what about uh, the mission, the film, the story is about. Well, however, directly as a result of the suppression of the society of Jesus, Jesuits, in several European countries, including Spain, in 1767, the, the Jesuits were expelled from Guarani missions and the America by order of the Spanish King Charles III. So, it ended the area of the reductions. Well, the reason for expulsion related more to politics in Europe than the activities of the Jesuits missions themselves. Well, the economic success of, of, of reductions combined with the Jesuits independence becomes a cause of fear the reductions were considered by some philosophers as ideal communities for noble savages and were praised as such by Montesquieu in his L'Esprit de Louise and even by Rousseau, no friend of the church, of course. The intriguing story has continued to be a subject of some romantizing uh, as uh, our film, The Mission, whose story relates to events of uh, 1750s shown on very small uh, scale. Well, summarize. The Jesuits in Rio de la Plata reduction reached a maximum population of uh, 100 41,000 in uh, 1732 in 30 missions in Brazil, Paraguay and Argentina. The reduction of uh, Jesuit missions in Chiquitos in eastern Bolivia reached a maximum population of 25,000 in 1766. 
and Jesuit reduction in Llanos de Mojos, also in Bolivia, reached a population of 3,000 in 1720. I think it was extremely interesting experiment. Unfortunately, it has finished very, very quickly. But I think uh, today we can see just the ruins of some uh, missions and we, we are astonished how rich architecture they could uh, build in such a very short time. But, you know, it's a, it's a story for next, for the other lecture. So, please, uh, look very carefully at this film. I think it's, it's a very m m wonderful story and very moving. So, have a good time. Uh, in case, of course, of any doubts, please contact us. And, of course, uh, take care. And I do believe very soon we will be able to uh, meet each other on our lectures. I mean, to be, to have a lecture face to face. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.